Hi everyone and welcome to episode 6 of Relegation Rescue at Renhei Beijing with me, the United City FM. It finally happened. We won a game. I know I'm as surprised as everybody else is, to be honest, probably more, more so than everybody else is. And then to cap it all off, today's episode was supposed to be against the top team in the division, China Fortune, but they've dropped down to second place. So that's going to be a doddle, isn't it? Let's do this. So all of a sudden, everything looks fantastic at Rene, <laughs> Rene Beijing, obviously. It kind of really doesn't. We're still sitting right at the foot of the table. We're still like eight points clear of, uh, of behind, should I say, of getting anywhere near getting out of this um, sticky situation. But we do have a game in hand currently over a couple of teams ahead of us. So if we can pick up some points, maybe we can close that gap over, over the rest of the season. But... In all honesty, I still think it's going to be really, really hard. We've got like seven games left, something like that. But yeah, as I say, we did actually win a game. We do play China Fortune today. have dropped down into second position behind Wuhan. But if we go and have a look at the schedule, you'll see that uh, we beat Shen Sh uh, Shenhua 2-1 in the end. And it was a really good performance. And it all has stemmed from playing this particular setup, which is my preferred setup of everything, both formation and tactic, to be honest. I think it works really well if you've got the players to play it. I'm not saying we have particularly, but we had enough about us in the last game. It's boosted the mo uh, motivation and the morale in this squad a little bit. So who knows what's going to happen today? I mean, likely... It's that we're going to get another tonking. But you can never quite tell. So, as we've seen, there's not a great deal to tell you about in terms of there's no change in shape or style of play uh, uh, from the recent games that we've played. There's a couple of personnel changes in there just because we've got uh, an injury here and there, some ineligibility. Uh, one of them, Yang Yang, is uh, still on international duty, of course. But uh, we have to do the best that we can with what we've got, basically. And that's what we endeavour to do every time that we go on the pitch. So for today's match against China Fortune in the Chinese Super League, we have Yu in goal, Bo Yang at right back, Felipe at left back, uh, Zhuan and Clayton in central defence, Peng, Kang and Malumbi in central midfield, with Pereira on the right, Yong Jing on the left, and Jun Zhan on, uh, in the striker role and a bunch of others on the bench. So let's get into today's game and see what happens. So because it was so successful in the last game, I've gone with the same sort of team talk, uh, with the same sort of um, gesture behind it. Hands in the pockets, very chilled out. Nobody expects us to get anything, so go out there, play without the pressure on you, and let's see what we can do. This is a whole different ball game, though, because we're playing one of the real top sides in the division. Last time out, not quite so much. So um, hopefully we can compete. Hopefully we can show that we can play a little bit. But I'm not um, holding up too much hope for a positive result, really. But we'll have to wait and see. And it is uh, China Fortune down the right-hand side. Get an early cross in. We do get a good headed clearance and then booted clear by a second defender. So that's really good. Uh, Yong Jing has picked up a very early yellow card on our left-hand side. So have to watch out for that as the, the game progresses. And as is uh, expected, really, China Fortune, four shots at goal already, 25 minutes gone. We haven't registered a shot at goal um, at all yet. And again, it's China Fortune on the ball this time, uh, again, down the right hand side. They've worked it nicely across the pitch, a blocked cross, but then a through ball. It's very unlucky, I would say, on that one. The blocked cross could have gone anywhere and it went straight to an opposition player. And immediately they put the through ball uh, towards the goal and there's the good block on the cross but the through ball comes in defender went to sleep a little bit in at the near post and the striker puts it away past the diving goalkeeper and we do go 1-0 down at 26 minutes up until that point yeah we haven't created a single thing have we nothing at all no shots at goal none on target 
And we need to change that as soon as we can. Good interception there, but then a wayward pass forward again means that um, immediately we're put back under pressure from China Fortune again. They go over the top centrally. It's dropped back into midfield. A good um, uh, interception there by Peng, but it, again, it wasn't decisive enough. And again, they've gone with a through ball, and this time it goes over the top of the bar. We're getting little niggles at the ball. We're getting touches on it, but we can't keep the possession once we've won it. And that is a big, big problem at this particular moment in time. One nil down at half time. So you can see we eventually registered a shot at goal and it was on target. So that's a positive moving into the second half. Possession stats is fantastic. Passing completion hasn't been too bad either. But we haven't done anything with it really to really impact China fortune. So we're going to move from the balanced mentality into the positive mentality for the second half, the early part of the second half. We're going to go into the dressing room. And I think we'll say, um, what are we going to say? Ba -ba -ba. Nobody's expecting anything from us. Just keep the pressure off them still. That's the plan. And then when we go in for the second half, let's go in and let's encourage them just to see if we can get any boost of confidence from them at all. Um, again, though, it is China Fortune with an early chance in this second half. And again, uh, this time the goalkeeper stands upright, gets blasted uh, straight at him and it goes out for a corner kick. Corner goes to the far post. And then what happened? Nothing happened. OK, for a, for a second, I thought we'd given away a foul and maybe a penalty in the box or something, but it didn't come about. 58 minutes gone. You can see that we're still 1-0 down. We've registered another shot, though. Uh, they've only had the 16. <laughs> well, it's 18 now. And here we go for another throw in for them down the right hand side. They've been working a lot down the right hand side. They've got it to the top of the box and then shoot narrowly wide. We're going to make a couple of substitutions now just to see whether we can freshen anything up a little bit. A couple of yellow cards to worry about. Uh, low ratings right the way across the side again. So that's disappointing. So what are we going to do here? Young Jing on that left-hand side. We could take him out. Oh, we haven't really got a fantastic replacement. The problem that we've got again is that I could play Dunner there particularly, but we'd have to take a, one of the other foreign guys out of the starting lineup to put him in. And that's a little bit tricky at the moment. So we're going to take Peng out and put... Oh, I love this one. Wang Wee Wee. What a fantastic name. We haven't seen much of him so far in the episodes, but it's one of the best names in the game, isn't it, really? So he'll come in and play that holding role. Uh, I think we are going to turn it, uh, change it around a little bit. We're going to take Pereira off and put Yu Feng on down that right-hand side, which then enables us to take uh, Yung Jing off and put Duna on that left-hand side. Not a natural at it, but has played it a couple of times for me. And those are the changes we're going to make. We're going to go back in for this second uh, period of the second half, back into the shouts. Uh, we'll demand more from them at this point and change from the positive to the attacking. And just see if we can get on the front foot and create a couple of chances in the last 10 minutes of the game would be really, really useful to build up the confidence. Again, though, it's China Fortune on the ball, working their way centrally through the team. And this time, they make no mistakes whatsoever. Good sweeping move through the centre of the pitch. Eventually, they get it to the top of the penalty box. They hold it there for a few seconds, just calm the play down. You can see this move in here, gets it from out of his feet. And then he blasts it home from long range and the goalkeeper isn't up to the challenge of it. And it goes in the back of the net for 2-0. It's kind of what I was expecting, but it's not the 3-4-5 that we were getting early on in our reign here. So that has settled down a little bit. And there's a wayward ball, which we end up with in the defensive area. We sweep it into midfield to Mulumbi, rides a challenge, gets to the top of the box, loses out. But Yu Feng takes over and hits the, uh, the woodwork. And there was a perfect opportunity there for, to, get on the, uh, to get on the score sheet. And we can't quite register it. It's unfortunate. We're putting the pressure on, though, with a deep free kick on this occasion. Goes into the box, but it's partially cleared. And then another um, cross, uh, no, a lofted pass into the box. Goes straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. We seem to be competing a little bit better than we were. But just as we say that, the goalkeeper comes out and... <laughs> 
That's a very, very unorthodox clearance, but just about works out. Molumbi holds the ball in midfield for a little while, puts the ball over the top, but Jun Jian didn't read it at all and couldn't get onto the end of it. And again, they come back at us. Felipe this time clears it, but the pressure is telling and they've again gone over the top and they've again gone in the back of the net for a 3-0 uh, lead at this point in the game. 88 minutes gone, only a couple minutes left. I think for a moment, for the last five or 10 minutes of this second half here, I thought we were doing quite well. We were having a couple of opportunities. We got uh, some good movement of the ball up until the top of the penalty box. That last min uh, bit into the box itself wasn't always particularly accurate, was it really? And we come away with what was a, a kind of an understandable loss, to be honest. It doesn't really dampen my thoughts as to what we can do for the rest of the season. Now we're basically playing all of the lesser lights of the division for the remainder of the season. So there is chance in there for a few more points. Whether it's going to be enough to get us out of the relegation area, I kind of doubt at this point. Today, the stats don't lie. They had 22 shots at goal and eight on target. We only had three and one. Our XG rating was nothing. Theirs was very good. Pass completion in our style of play was decent. We had more possession. We just could not make it count and get into their box enough. And that's just one of those days, really. So six games to go of the season of, of this particular series of trying to rescue Rene Beijing. It hasn't worked out at all. That run of form has been dreadful, hasn't it? But just a little bit of a glimmer of hope in the last couple of games. The, the next six, six, though, are against better opposition, as I've already said in this episode. Ever Bright and Shangdon have, have, got, uh, have got the next couple of games against us. And so let's go and have a look in the division itself. And you'll see that Ever Brighter in 14th, Shandong 10th place. So second half of the table type teams. And that's what we've got all the way through. There is a glimmer of hope in that. If we could get a victory against Ever Bright, maybe that's enough to propel us into a bit better run of form for the last few games of the season. I'm not saying it's going to be enough. But it might help us a little bit just to close that gap up as we approach the end of the season. Interesting run in. It's going to be um, slightly easier than it has been, I hope. Whether we can turn that into actual results, we'll have to wait and see. So join me next episode where we'll be playing Shandong. I'll update you on what happened against Everbright. A good win against Shen Hua. But not so much today against China Fortune mean that we're still rooted to the bottom of the table. Still about eight points behind safety. Still with an absolute ton to do and pretty much no time to do it in. So join me next episode. We'll see what happens there. Thank you for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel or you haven't got around to it yet, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps to uh, continue the growth of the channel. Um, and it continues to grow my United City community. And the more the merrier there is always good. Go check all the links in the description below to my Twitter, my Discord. There's a Patreon that you can support the channel through. Uh, even a merchandise store. If you've got ideas for more merchandise that you think would be good, let me know about that. Until next time, though, take care of yourselves. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. <laughs>